Thanks, Dancy. Well, with the big OSU Michigan game this weekend, we wanted to focus this week's Lost Creek Rehabil Rehabilitation and Care Center food segment on something that is both popular at Christmas time and also fitting for this football week. Well, today we are making Buckeyes. The only catch is that none of us have ever done this. And without <laughs> Zach here to guide us along, who knows how things are going to go. Mark and Matt are here with me. And Matt, who I understand before this segment, had never experienced a Buckeye before. Googled what is a Buckeye, found out that it involves peanut butter and chocolate, which I really enjoy both of. So this, I think, is going to go well. And really, we're doing this segment in honor of Mark, who is like our ultimate <laughs> Buckeye here. <laughs> You brought a Buckeye, is that yeah, right? Yeah, well, well, I've got one in the office usually, so. But apparently we don't use this in the recipe at all, so I shouldn't dump it into the butter. Uh, according to this recipe, it is not wise. I'm okay. not really In fact, Buckeyes are somewhat poisonous, so we really don't want to put that mm. in food. All right. Well, that'd well, be the end of the food segments forever. <laughs> that would be, <laughs> that yeah. would be it. That's not really how we want, <laughs> want to change things. Okay, so we are going to, in the next few minutes, attempt to create Buckeyes. Now, many of you at home are probably laughing at us right now, going, you've never created, you've never made Buckeyes. It's so easy. Well, we will. Just ball up peanut butter and dip it in chocolate, right? Well, what do you think at home, folks? <laughs> What's your vote? <laughs> Call, text, or tweet us and let us know if that's correct. I heard it's a little bit more complicated than that, especially with this melted butter, which I would love to just get some pancakes right now and drizzle just the butter on it. It's perfect, that mm. melted butter. Well, we need that melted butter for an important reason. Mark and Matt are going to be our mixers, and we're going to start out with peanut butter, which, yes, you need peanut butter. Now, the recipe that we're going to show you on the screen that's is for so a, full, a full serving uh, 30 Buckeyes, but we have cut it in half just for the sake of television here. So we just put in three quarters a cup of peanut butter. If you're going to do a full thing, you're going to do one and a half cups at home. Next, we need that butter. The butter, it's very basic. Butter, vanilla extract. You're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract for what you're doing. For those of you at home, it's a half teaspoon. Remember, we're doing cutting it in half here. And then the uh, powdered sugar. All of that powdered sugar. All of that powdered sugar. Powdered sugar flies all over. Mix it up. Like oh, yeah, don't brown. forget the yeah. don't forget the vanilla. All right, this is where uh, we we we, need to we forgot to bring our measuring spoons, so we're trusting yeah. that that looks pretty good. We also suggest that maybe you use like a larger spoon. Um, I told you we we don't have Zach, our food expert here today, so we are just we're just. We're just trying winging things it. out. That's <laughs> right. We're just We're winging, winging it. it. Now the recipe says that the uh, the dough is going to look dry. It does look dry. It Absolutely. does look dry, but it looks pretty white. I still think that we might have some more mixing that needs to be done. Now as soon as Mark is done mixing that, he and Matt are now going to, are next going to start rolling those into little balls. We don't have a melon baller for that. No melon baller. It uses oh, your hands. For this one. Here, uh, Matt rolls up the sleeves, and you'll need toothpicks go. because you're going to put a toothpick on the top of each one, which is very important for the final step. We're going to take. Well, take a look at that. That is just the color job, is Mark. beautiful, Mark. I think Science. you have a. I think you have a future in Buckeye making. Okay, so then we just take a little bit and roll it up. All right. Go for it. So your thoughts so far, is this a difficult recipe? No. Is this an easy recipe? No, we didn't have to melt the butter. I'm not sure how, how well we'd be able to melt butter. <laughs> yeah, we chose to melt the butter. It does say in the recipe that you can just use softened butter if you want. Um, so as we roll those, we have been uh, melting some chocolate. Mm, mine's We've yeah, got mine's melted <laughs> chocolate here, which is going to be the next step coming up, using a double boiler, which makes it much easier to melt chocolate. Now, guys, don't forget to put the toothpicks on top. Oh, that's right. You distracted us when we messed up already. Also remember that Buckeyes are round. Yeah, I, I just said mine's square. I don't, I don't know why I went for a square one, but... That's an offensive lineman Buckeye right there. <laughs> that's a big one. Having trouble getting mine to stick. Are you having that issue? Not really. Mm -hmm. um, just using the old uh, roll it between two You know, I, I, are you doing the New Jersey Buckeye? I, I think Is so, that yeah. the issue here? I think they know I'm not from Ohio. <laughs> just like making snowballs out of yeah. dough. Well, I grew up in Iowa, better. so I also had never heard of Buckeyes until I moved here. And um, now that I've lived here, I can't believe that there are people who've never heard of Buckeyes. Well, okay, how are you guys doing? Great, I think. We got plenty you simply of continue this process until you are finished with all of your dough, and then you need to place the Buckeyes 
into the freezer for at least 30 minutes. You want them to get firm because then you have the next step, which involves dipping them now, in chocolate. Is, is that too big? It depends it's like on, a double buckeye. You know, it depends <laughs> on your tastes. How, how hungry for a buckeye are you? So here we have basic melted semi-sweet chocolate chips. Very, very simple. Guys, you're doing a wonderful job, but I'm going to take this away from you because we actually have some pre-made Buckeyes right here that we've already taken. We've taken them out of the freezer. Thank you to my daughters, Grace and Abby, who did this ahead of time. And now these are ready for the final step. Dipping the in the final chocolate. Final dipping in the chocolate. Dipping in the chocolate. All right, guys, are you ready for this? I think so. Here's some wax paper that you can set your completed Buckeyes on when you're finished. Once again, very simple. I hope we're doing this correct. Oh no, I failed <laughs> on the first one. Here we go. Yeah, I think maybe if we had a, a deeper bowl might help. Oh, look at that though. That's perfect. Mm. Wow, nicely done, Mark. So you want to then put these in the refrigerator, which is going to allow them to set again uh, so that when you're ready to eat them, they're solid. Yeah, I think if, if we had a little bit of a deeper bowl, we'd be able to get more of the chocolate around the entire Buckeye. But you're getting, you're certainly getting the idea here. Okay, I think I need to try one of these, even though I'm not going to put it in the refrigerator. See how the handiwork went. How is it? Mmm. Very good. Oh, there we go. Very, very good. Oh, well, these guys finished up with their. Mmm. Very good, but it's very chewy. Or need there some milk or water. That's a Oh, well, they finish up with it. what they're doing. We want to remind you that last week we showed you a gluten, dairy, and soy free pumpkin pie recipe, including the crust, everything from scratch. Well, several of you have asked for this recipe as you are searching for tasty options for those with food allergies. And we want to let you know that the recipe, as well as our complete demonstration, can be found on demand, meaning you can watch it anytime you want at WTLW.com. And if all you want is the recipe, we can find that on WTLW.com as well. Just click on Faith and Friends, then click on the recipes link. Of course, if you have any questions, you can email us at faithandfriends at WTLW.com. Well, that was a lot Very of fun, good. Jennifer. Yeah, thank you for letting me be part of the food. I really got the full Faith and Friends experience today.